Today we are learning about translations. Translation is a type of transformation. It's also known as a slide. And we learned how to identify them in an earlier video. But basically it just means that the shape doesn't turn at all, it doesn't flip at all. It just stays straight up and down and moves left, right, up or down. So it's pretty easy to do. We're going to find out what it looks like when we write this as a rule. So you probably have never seen this little notation before right here. And sometimes you'll have just this given to you and it won't even tell you what to do with the shape. So let's explore with this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the coordinates of the pre-image of the shape. Okay, so the pre-image means it's not prime. That's the shape that we already have right here. It's just a line segment A, B. So let's find our coordinates of A and find our coordinates of B. A is four to the left of the origin, so it's negative four for the X coordinate. And then one, two, three up, so three for the Y. Then our B is one to the left, so it's still gonna be negative one for X. And then now it's down three, so it's gonna be negative three for our Y. Okay, then when you have your coordinates, you're going to use the transformation rule to find the image coordinates or the new shape. Okay, so we have x plus 5. So my new coordinates will be x plus 5, negative 4 plus 5 is 1. And then y minus 2, so 3 minus 2 is 1. So our new a will be at 1, 1. So we're going to say a prime, that's our new a. Then we need for B, it's gonna be X plus five. So negative one plus five is gonna be positive four. You could enter that into your calculator if you wanted to. And then Y minus two, it's gonna be negative three minus two is negative five. So now I'm gonna go find that. So it's four, one, two, three, four, negative five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's my new B. Now, if I did this right, then this is a translation, right? So the line segment should just look like it's shifted over, but exactly the same length. And A and B are exactly the same position in relation to each other, and they are. So I actually did this last step. I found the image coordinates and then I drew Oh, draw, because <laughs> we're writing this in command form, draw the image. So I drew the image. Um, remember, that's our, our primes, A prime, B prime. Okay, so this is the way to do it if you have the rule and you don't necessarily know what the rule means. However, you might notice like on both of these, we went five in a single direction. We went five to the right. So anytime you have a plus on your X, it's gonna go right. I'm gonna go write that down up here. It says direction, what it looks in the translation rule. It's always going to start with an X, Y, and then an arrow. And if it were to move just to the right, then we just add to the X coordinate. We're going to call it A, that's what it says up here. So. Just, it adds some number, but Y would stay the same if it had just moved five to the right. But this one didn't just move five to the right, it moved down two, and so it was minus two. So we're going to write what it means to go down. On that one, you take your X, Y, and then you just change the Y and you make it minus. 
So then it probably makes sense that if you go left, you change your x coordinate, but left is now a minus. And then if you go up, it just changes your y, and y is a plus. So you can combine these rules, um, and you can also write your own. So let's do a couple examples where we do some things that are a little different. Now, sometimes it won't actually give you the rule. It's going to give you like, translate the shape two up, two right. Then you just count from each point you go two up, two right. So I'm gonna show you another way to do this because I find it kind of tedious to find the numbers for all of the coordinates, especially if there's three or more points like there are on example one. I'm just going to look here and I notice that I have a plus two on my X and a minus one on my Y. So what did we find out? Plus went to the right. And I think that makes sense because all your positive numbers are on the right side of the X axis. So plus two is gonna go two to the right. Then Y minus one, this is our up or down coordinate, right? So minus is gonna be down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna count from each of my points rather than finding what the coordinates are and I find this way is a lot easier. So for A, I'm gonna go, we'll change colors here. I'm gonna go two to the right and one down and this is my new A or A prime. For B, I'm gonna go two to the right and one down and here's my new B or B prime. C is C to the right and one down. Oh, two to the right and one down. C prime. And then make sure to make your new shape by drawing the lines to connect the points. So this is my new shape. Remember, it looks exactly the same. If your shape does not look exactly the same at the end, you did the translation incorrectly. Remember that a translation is a type of rigid transformation. Rigid just means that it doesn't change its size or shape at all. Okay, we're gonna go over here to create the translation rule for the figures below. Ooh, we get to do it backwards now. So we're gonna find out how much it moved from each point to the next. For, so I count one, two, three to the right and then one down. So we've been used to actually finding out what this is. When we draw an arrow to the right, we write plus, and that's the same thing for our transformation rule. And then when we go down here on our y coordinates, we've been writing minus. So we can just write that as x, y, arrow. And then we moved right three, so that's gonna be on my x coordinate, plus three and down one on my y coordinate, so y minus one. And that's all you do for that transformation rule. Now, sometimes it might tell you to give a verbal description of what it is rather than writing the rule. So the rule is the x, y arrow stuff. If it says a verbal description, then you should just write which directions it goes. So this one moved three to the right, and one down. All right, that is all good luck performing and writing rules for translations.